If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mom. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my updated current makeup routine. So I have picked up a couple things lately and some of you guys were so kind enough to notice, which is so nice of you guys, by the way, because I know my makeup skills are very, you know, gets a little bit crazy sometimes. So um, yeah, thank you guys, you're so sweet. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing as of lately, and um, yeah, basically the makeup look that I've been doing in all my videos. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. All the products will be linked down below for you in case you were interested. And with that being said, let's jump right in. All right guys, so to get started, I'm going to be moisturizing with my Glossier Priming Moisturizer, and this is what it looks like. I received this in a Ipsy bag a while back, and I really, really love the formula of this. It's actually really, um, I don't know, it's, it is a moisturizer, but it doubles as a primer as well, but the formula that it's in, like it's like a very like water-based moisturizer, but it feels amazing on the skin, and it's very moisturizing, so I really, really like it. Going to rub this in, make sure that everywhere is moisturized. So, right after that, I will go in with a primer, and I've been using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I have the miniature size here. And I like to just do a little, little pebble of that. And by the way, you guys, if you hear a little noises, construction is going on um, on site today, so at my building, so please excuse that. I've been trying to work around it, but it seems impossible at this point, so please don't mind it. All right, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit, that way you guys can see everything up close. And right after my moisturizer and my primer, I just like to have that sit for a little bit. So I'm gonna just go in with my eyebrow um, product to fill in my brows. And for that, I use my ABH Dip Brow Pomade, and I use the shade Ebony. It's quite dark and rich, and I've been using this product for such a long time, so at this point, I'm pretty much just comfortable with it. Should I zoom you guys in some more, do you think? Looks kind of up close and personal there. <laughs> All right, I think this is a good, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's just, that's acceptable. <laughs> So right after I've done the tail, I like to just go in with the brush right to the middle, um, to the tip. And I use a light hand when I'm like up here because I don't want it to look too boxy and harsh. But it almost always ends up looking like that. I just have to brush the product out. So something like that. I'm going to just repeat the same thing on this side. I like to start off with the tail. So this is what we're working with so far. It looks crazy, I know, but I'm going to go in with the spoolie end and I'm just going to distribute the product. Just kind of like brush it in to kind of like create a more like natural looking brow. And this product is really hard to work with. It's cause it's like a cream. So you really have to be very light handed, which I am not, but this is basically what we have. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my MAC concealer and it's in the shade NC45 and it's a little, little thing like this. And I'm gonna use this flat angled brush and I'm just going to use this to clean up my brows. And I'm just going to Apply it under here. Then I'm going to take this brush here and it's kind of like a fluffy, it's basically a eye, it's actually a eyeshadow brush, but I made it my eyebrow blending brush. And I like it because it has like a precision tip. So if I wanted to like get under here, like really, really close, 
works for that as well. And then it has this big fluffy part. So I love this brush. <laughs> and I'm really not anal about my eyebrows too much. I really don't care how they look as long as, you know, they don't look boxy, I'm pretty fine with them. So we're just going to leave it at this because I feel like this is okay. So now we're gonna get started with foundation. Now, if you guys don't notice, like my face is a little bit lighter than my body. So um, we're gonna be using these foundations today. This is NW55. This is the darkest foundation I own. And this was how tan I got last summer. And I was matched to the shade at MAC. And then this is like my regular w winter shade. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. I'm not quite this tanned. I wish I was. Actually, you know what? It might work out. Let me just see what it's looking like. So, okay. It's actually not too bad. So we might just use this alone. And I like to just paint on my foundation um, over especially the areas that are, you know, where my imperfections are, like blemishes, acne scarring whatever i just like to just put my foundation over those areas like spot treat if you will and i also like to go in with concealer to kind of like further cover up any blemishes that are still seeping through this foundation isn't as full coverage, especially because I don't use a lot of it. So I like to just go in with some additional concealer. And I know my foundation is really dark right now, but don't worry, it all comes together in the end. So the concealer I like to use is by MAC. It's their Pro Long Wear Concealer. Um, if this doesn't work, I switch to my Fenty Beauty ones. But um, I really want to use this one today, so let's hope we get something. Oh, yeah, we did. All right. I know this looks like a lot, and it is. <laughs> So I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender and it's damp. And I'm just going to use this to just blend out the concealer from under my eyes and everywhere. And this is the part that takes the longest, but I promise you it will all be worth it in the end. Or at least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> so let's get to blending. Okay, so now that my concealer is blended, we're gonna go in with the setting powder, and this is by Laura Mercier. It's the shade in medium deep, but I also like to use the translucent as well, so I use both of these. But first, you're gonna start off with this one here, and just going to, it's just the loose powder. It's in this beautiful shade, it's so pretty. And I like to use this with a wedge sponge, and I have a whole bag here. And I'm just going to be patting this under the eye. So to set the rest of my face, I like to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. It's in the shade Dark Deep. And it's just like a very lightweight powder. I think this is, prob this is probably one of my favorite powders to use because it's so lightweight. Doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything on your skin. And that's important to me. Like even though I'm putting on a lot of makeup, I don't want it to feel like I'm wearing a crap ton of makeup, you know? I like when it's very lightweight. And then um, I'm just going to move on with dusting away the powder that we are using to set the under eyes and all of these areas. Just gonna dust that away. So to contour, I use my Natasha Denona contour powder. 
and I just like to use this with like a regular contour and brush and very lightly contour my face. You see how bad that looks? Because you really have to use a light hand because it's really intense. So I'll have to fix that in a minute, but yeah, that's why you need a light hand with this. And then I'm just going to apply some under here. So for blush, I'm gonna use my MAC blush in the shade Raisin. And this is my favorite blush to use. You guys know I've used it so many times. It's a very deep plum color. You can't even really see it because my camera sucks, but it's just like a really nice plummy mauve color. All right, so while we're on the topic of bronzers and blushes, I use these exact same things for my eyes. So I'm gonna take my Natasha Denona contour powder and I'm just going to apply that right here in the crease of my eyes. Right after I do this little something I just did, I'm gonna go in with my little eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. I love this gold color right here. I'm gonna take this like flat brush and I'm just going to dip it in that gold color. Then I'm just going to apply this to my lids. And this brush is so good with the color, it literally just packs it on. I'm not good at this, I'm just honestly just learning. <laughs> so now I'm gonna apply my eyeliner. So now it's time for a mascara, mascara, and I'm just going to apply this to both of my lashes, top and bottom. This one is a little bit dry, but I can't let go because I just love it so much. And it still works a little bit, so. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the eye portion. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. Now the lips for me is pretty simple. All I do is apply some brown lip liner and then my Buxom lip gloss. I've showed it a thousand times, but I'm gonna show you again. So this is my Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC and I just like to use this to line my lips. Okay, so after lining my lips, I kinda just, and then that kinda helps to kinda like I don't know, do a little thing like that. And I think this is very 90s. This is how my mom's makeup was when I look at the pictures of her when she was younger, like really dark liner with like a little bit of gloss and very like chocolate tones, such a vibe. So I'm just gonna apply the Buxom lip gloss directly on top of that. And we end up with something like this. I'm gonna use my gold deposit. So, I do naturally have a mole there. Right here. But after all the foundation and all the products that I just put on my face, it tends to get a little bit dull and not noticeable, right? So I like to put the mole back on with my eyeliner. or put the color back on, so to speak, because I definitely love this as a little, you know, a little, um, you know, it's a feature of mine that I really appreciate. So I would really appreciate it if it shows. So to finish things off, I like to spray my face with my MAC Fix Plus and it's in the coconut scent. It smells amazing. Well, this just got awkward. 